Hi everybody, and welcome back to Rowan Town. I've got some of these scrap loads that uh, I picked up years and years ago from the Hornby Electric Train Show when it was held at Gaydon from a company called Ten Commandments. And I've had these just around for a really long, a really long time. Some of them have got a little bit of damage to them. I'm gonna have to glue them together. But I decided whilst I've got my airbrush out and about, I might try weathering these up. The plan with this really is to do a mixture of things. I'm going to try and use the air gun to spray some of this primer, and then I'm gonna coat it in this Tamiya aluminium color using the airbrush. Then my plan is to then use possibly some of these paints here, kind of dry brush on some reds and some yellows. I've got some of the enamel rust left over from the track work. I may try some dry brushing on that as well. So let's give these a, a little bit of a go and see if we can airbrush the gray primer onto them. So I guess you could call that phase one. The priming has now gone on. Uh, hopefully you saw from the video that it went on. Now that was the Vallejo primer, the light gray. Uh, I didn't even have to mix it actually. It went on reasonably well. And as you can see, it's on there. I sprayed it on all sides to try to make sure that I seal the, I guess it's like a plaster of Paris. So it's sealed from moisture, kind of hoping. The uh, next step of this I've primed it I'm going to use this uh, iron hands steel from uh, Citadel paint. Apparently this is really thick stuff. I'm going to thin it down. I'm going to uh, give it a bit of a mix and I'm going to try to spray it all over these to give them like a base colour. And then we can uh, see what happens from there. So I've got my mask on, so it's a bit uh, difficult to hear. I've just done a, a quick test just here. It's got quite a bit of a shine on it. I'm hoping this will uh, spray out quite nice. I think you can see the colour difference. I'm going to spray over the rest of them, just give them a, a light sprinkling. The airbrushing is now complete. I wanted to give it a bit of a silvery shine, to give it that metallic look. I've now got a selection of different paints that I'm going to apply to it and see how it works. Now, I guess you could individually paint each bit and piece, but I'm not that detailed. So I've got a number of items that I'm going to try using and they're mixtures between weathering powders, some kind of wash, uh, just to give it a bit of, um, I guess, an oily grime. I've got a couple of enamels here from Railmatch. I've got a weathered black, a light rust, a uh, dark rust. I've got some sleeper grime as well, which is not in shot, but it is now. So I'm going to try adding a few of those things to it just to um, add a little bit of rust. I want to use kind of the dry brushing technique for this and... Uh, which is quite straightforward. I think it's a dip, a brush in, get rid of most of it, and then wipe across. Time to check out how well I do. I popped a few colors into this paint pot. I'm now gonna just try a bit of dry brushing 
some of these colors through. I've got to probably use the brown. I could probably do a, a brown and a red mix, to be honest, just to get a slightly more rusty looking color. I'm not sure how that's gonna mix up, but I'm gonna use something like that, mix those up. I'm gonna try br dry brushing them over. I've had a look at some of the uh, manufacturers pictures, they've got quite a dark rusky color and they've put some greens and blues on these drums. In fact, I might just put a green in as well, like so, and then I can just, I'm just gonna mix these up. I'm not overly worried about colors and various other things. <laughs> they look pretty much exactly the same. Right, so I'm gonna just a uh, bit of brush, let's just uh, do that and see what happens if I just paint over like so. I don't want perfect covering them after a bit of silvery look in some of the bits and pieces. I thought that was red, it's more of a purple, so I won't, won't be using uh, that one. I've got a bit of uh, green. Can I just uh, give it a bit of a green color? Do a bit of a blue one on here. Got different colors, right? I might just um, brush on greens onto those drums. I'm just going to paint a few things in different colours I think and uh, and then just do this kind of this massive colouring over with um, different coloured paints trying to give it a light misting of kind of a rusty colour. I don't think that worked particularly as I wanted it to want it to look, probably needed to spray that um, slightly more than what I did. So, but I'm just going to use some black just over these bits. Just try to uh, dry brush some of those on. I've not bored you with the full painting experience because it was a lot of kind of dipping in brushes in different colors in this palette and then sort of rubbing it down so you didn't get too much on the brush. And here is the end result. I have highlighted a couple of the tins with different colors and then I've just gone over with multiple different paints to try to get the effect of rust and some of the silver coming through as you can see. So some look better than others, but I think they look uh, a reasonably good job for, it took me probably about half an hour in total of just brushing and brushing and brushing. I'll let them dry, see how they all turn out once they are dried out and gives me time to go off and clean my paint palette of all the colors. So this one here I'm uh, quite proud of. This one does seem to have come out. I've put some black in just to try to highlight some of the details to create a little bit of shadow. I've added some colors to those drums. Some bits are still kind of nice and silvery and I've just added lots of different browns, yellows, reds. Um, some of the, I've tried some of the enamel uh, rail match paints as well. But at the moment I've literally just gone over and done the acrylic paints that I got from a cheap kind of uh, art store and they've done uh, reasonably well, I think. So I had a load of this foam left over when I did my uh, drawers to hold everything open. So I've just cut those to size. I'm just gonna push them in there like that. And then the idea behind these will be, hopefully these will just fit in like so. Probably should uh, weather those up a little bit on the inside but that is how it will look. So I think that looks reasonable for some scrap in these mega box wagons. This is one of those little projects that I've been trying to do for absolutely forever. And I've done it now and I think it looks pretty reasonable. So if you enjoyed the video, please do hit the like button. Always does help my YouTube analytics. And if you're not a subscriber, then please do subscribe. Hit the notification bell 
to be notified of videos as and when I post them. Thanks again for watching to the very end. Hope to see you again soon. It's uh, bye for me for now.